saw a huge thing like ran. We were driving along with the truck and uh, we just got out of the truck. We we're on its tracks. Uh, if you get a clean shot on him, take him. It's a very good ram. He fell right there. Let me go ahead and eject yeah. that. Put it on safe. <laughs> that was awesome. Awesome. Good boy. Eddie, That's did it great. again. That's great. He's down right there. He's he down didn't go on how, the spot. How big is a steam buck? Uh, bigger than a, bigger than a little, you can say a little bit bigger than a bobcat. Yeah, so this 300 put him down. I bet you it, uh, we hit him pretty good. He's he's not even moving anymore, so I think it's safe. We can go up there and recover him. Good. from here we got a pretty good hit on him. Oh, look at it. Come back to me. Hi. I haven't seen many steam buck, but this one looks excellent to me. He's probably, how, how big do you think he is, Eddie? He's at about five inches. You set this rifle down. Get in here and on him. Ooh, that 300 did a trick on him. I'm gonna flip him around this way. So it's not quite as bad. Clean it up a little bit. Uh, that's a, a steam buck ram here in the Limpopo province of South Africa. Another first for me. Day seven of the safari and uh, seven animals with seven shots. So we're still sitting pretty. How big do you want a steam buck to be? This is a mature ram, right? That's I know he a looks- mature ram. They look small and to people in America, they probably look like it's a young animal, but it's not. This is a fully grown steam buck male. One that was high on my list of animals and uh, one more to put in the bag. I tell you, I don't know if it's possible or if it's a fluke or if I've just had some incredibly good luck. But out of the animals I came for, I've got almost all of them. And I, came, and I asked for a little more than, than I could get because I would take either one or the other. But I wanted from seven to 10 animals on this safari and this is animal number seven. I couldn't be pleased. Of course, I got this one with my rifle and as you saw, uh, when I pulled the trigger, he hit the ground. Uh, we had a pretty close shot. I'd say he was about 70 yards, but he was through some pretty thick brush. So I had to pick a small hole through there. And luckily, we were able to get on him. He's right at the tip of his ears. And I think we're gonna be able to save a shoulder mount, so this little guy will, will adorn my walls. Uh, and are they good to eat? They're good to eat, aren't they? Yeah, they're good to eat. Excellent, so we're gonna eat a little steam buck and we're gonna uh, honor this animal uh, with a place 
on my wall forever. Fantastic. What an incredible little animal. The steam buck. He must be a little rough and tumble guy. He's got scabs all over his neck. They must, these, these are very sharp. They're like needles almost. So I imagine if they fight these rams, uh, they end up with some cuts and bruises on them. Pretty cool little animal. Come on over here. This is my tracker. We haven't put him to much use. Uh, everything we've shot, we've recovered within 80 yards. Uh, I think maybe the Impala went the furthest at about 100 yards. But if we don't find him, I'm sure Adam could track him up for us. It's been incredible watching him track and identify the tracks of the animals that we've seen and tell us what has come to the water holes before we went out. So, absolutely fantastic so far. This is the last day we get on an airplane tomorrow. We rode elephants today. I don't know if it could get any better. This has been a fabulous, fabulous trip. If you get a chance, again, give them a call. I'm sure that you will have as good a time as I did and they will be happy to have you come out here and join Philip Broncourt Safaris in the Limpopo province of South Africa. You're gonna have a wonderful time, don't delay. I put it off for several years and it's one of my, my biggest regrets. I put the safari off two or three times now and finally got to the position where I committed to Philip and once I did, it's been an absolute success. Let's get him out of here. They told me I could pick up a, an antelope by the hind legs and carry it out like this. I'd have thought they were crazy, but uh, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna walk out. With my hat.